Hi guys, it's me. I wanted to jump on here really quickly to give you a little demo of what the new uh, scanner I have does. So the software is called Balance uh, from Zyto and it's actually a really interesting, interesting um, scan and it's right up my alley because it not only talks about your physical um, issues that need to be addressed, but it also talks about how those issues affect your emotional balance as well. And it really does give you a detailed idea of what we can do to um, balance it out. So I'm going to go ahead and try it on our group here and go live and see how that works out. If it does good or if I do good, we'll keep it. If not, I'll try again with somebody live. So we're going to go over a report. Um, it's actually Monkey's report, and Monkey is my golden retriever, and he's such an awesome, awesome participant. <laughs> he's always up for doing things when we ask. Um, and I'm going to just give you a short review of what it looks like so you have a better understanding of how awesome the software is. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera, and this is something I'm trying here, so bear with me. Okay, so here's my desktop. And right here it says, the title for this one is called The Wellness Report. Let's see if I can come down a little bit right here. So it gives you 15 reports. And the three that I'm going to show you are the ones that have most all the information. So I'm going to go over it a little bit. If you guys have questions, type it in and I'll answer um, as quickly as I can. So here are the biomarkers it tested. It tested for 171 biomarkers, which is up here. Okay, so biomarkers that are in range are 110, and 61 of those are out of range. So what I like to do is explain. See this little circle right here? So this little circle right here is our body, okay? And ideally, everything out here, like all these little red dots, should be inside the circle, right? In a perfect world. <laughs> if things are balanced, if our body's happy, all these little red guys are in here, everybody's green and happy. Well doesn't always happen. The best thing about the software is not only does it give you an idea of what it wants, it also tells you how to balance it. So as you guys know, I have the hand cradle and I'll show you a picture of it or I'll show it to you in a few minutes. All you do is put your hand on this cradle and it looks just like this down here. So all you do is put your hand on the cradle. It does not ask you any questions. So it taps into your subconscious and it starts asking every part of your body what's going on. Ask your brain, ask your heart, ask your all your organs and glands, and asks your meridians, and it goes and asks your vertebrae <laughs> and your teeth, and they come back and they tell us what's going on and what they do or what they need to help you balance them. So here's another uh, uh, sample right here. So you go to the best baseline, and here are the 61 that are out of range. So the first thing that it does, it tells us right here that deep blue would bring back 24 of those biomarkers into range. So you see how they start coming in right here? You can look at the comparison. So deep blue is going to go ahead and regulate that issue right there. 23 of them are going to be taken care of with cheer touch. You see how all these little circles are coming in now? And digestion essential oil will take care of 11 of them. Now we just got a few more guys right here. And Melissa came up for my poor baby. So we got to find out what's going on with him. So this report's pretty awesome because it goes and it tells you. Copaiba will bring in one. And Balance will bring in another one. So the awesome thing is we have a video library. So if you don't know what these oils do and you don't feel like looking them up, check out the links on the videos and you guys will find out what they're for. On the bottom of the report, it gives you product description for each one. See this here? So here are all the oils we mentioned. That's going to help balance him, bring him back to range. It tells you how often to use them on top as well, so you don't have to guess. It's pretty much, the only thing you have to do is rub them on. It tells you everything else. Okay, here's the awesome part, guys. Well, everything's awesome, but I get excited just showing this. So right here, it talks about the four core body systems for wellness. So if you see here, it shows stressors, virtual item response. So it's four core systems. And then on the bottom, it shows um, stressor, virtual item, response, responses, and lifestyle area. So let's take a look at these four systems here. So we have the detox system. We have the gastrointestinal system. We have hormone and endocrine. And then we also have the immune system. Okay? So ideally, all of these should be behind this line right here. So anything over the line is not okay. 
asking for help. But we'll know what we have to do, right? Because the oils are shown. So right here on the bottom, it talks about stressors, right? So it'll go into diet and nutrition, hydration, inflammation, mental emotional stress, which is exciting, <laughs> sleep, and toxic stress. So sometimes we know we're not sleeping, but we want to know why we're not sleeping. What do we do so we can sleep better, right? So right here, what's concerning is his inflammation. Obviously, he has a lot of inflammation. When I go up here, I show that his, his detox system isn't working as well as it should. And the immune system is also being affected. We're going to look at these core systems right here. But as you go down further, it'll tell you. So this is the detox system isn't working. And we're going to ask, well, what about the detox? And apparently right here it shows the liver is not very happy. So I said, okay, we got the liver, we got parasites, we got bacteria, we have some anger in there. Notice how there's emotions also in with physical ailments. So they contribute. Really, really good to know that we can go ahead and address issues like this and it'll actually help the detox system. Exciting, right? They say everything emotional is attached to physical and physical to emotional. So lymph nodes, so it goes through every single thing here. And on this end right here, it tells you the balancers. So these things right here are going to help balance what's out of range. So what I did with him is I gave him tri capsules, one in the morning, one in the evening. And I also gave him an infectious disease spinal. So he did really good. Uh, did that every other day for a couple days. And he actually so showed great signs of improvement, um, even in his stool, FYI. Again, we're talking about Monkey, who's my golden retriever. <laughs> His gastrointestinal system right here is also being um, shown. Again, the liver is very high at a range. It's affecting this particular system right here. So we have the detox and the gastrointestinal. Remember, the two different systems. Liver, parasites, pancreas, bacteria. These are all the things that's showing grief, inflammation. And again, we want everything to be on this side of the line. Here are his balancers for his gastrointestinal system. So digest in this one. Right, we're dropping that in his water, making sure he's getting that. Now, you guys don't necessarily have to use all the oils, but I always go with the one that has the highest number. You guys notice right here? So what I do is I go with this one, see how he does a few days, and then start adding more as needed. So I cheated and did a spinal because I got them all in there quickly because I didn't want to waste any time. And if there's any more spinals that you see are beneficial, you can do that. So again, he's a golden retriever. I did not use fractionated coconut oil. I did oil straight and he's used to oil. So I did six drops of each oil in the infectious disease spinal. Now it looks at the hormone and endocrine system. And again, the reason why his hormones are kind of being out of whack is the liver. So that liver is not happy. Pancreas. We are looking at the parathyroid gland, which actually contributes to hormone imbalance, DHE also a hormone, testosterone, his stomach's a little irritated, prostate, and adrenal glands and kidneys. Now, right here when you see zeros, basically what the computer's doing or the cradle's doing is asking for the galvanic response and it's going to say, hello, adrenal glands, how are you, how are you feeling? And they come back and say, don't talk to me. <laughs> so they're not very happy and that's why they're marking at zero. So it's as if it was actually higher than a red right here. They mark it zero. We don't like to see zeros. Okay, and here are the balancers right here. We got jasmine touch and basil. So he got some basil on his tummy, and I also added um, it to the spinal that we gave to him. Immune system, here we go again. The liver's marking high stress, and all these things here. Notice emotions, grief, anger, ashamed, along with these physical ailments. Here's the deal. He's, he was very upset because we have to make him sit still for a minute while we scan him. So I guess that's where all the anger came from. <laughs> I'm hoping that's where it came from. I don't like that his adrenals, his lymphatic system, his appendix, and his tonsils weren't marking. So that's an indicator of something going on with my baby. And that's probably why Melissa came up. You notice how Melissa came up right here? So I can mess around with a couple of other oils, but I was just putting Melissa in his mouth. So I put a couple of drops on my finger and put them under his tongue. And he was doing pretty good. So we're happy to report Monkey's doing a whole lot better now. This was done on the 13th of October. And he's nice and happy now. Because we did implement a lot of the balancers. And he's always ready to guinea pig anyway. 
Okay, diet and nutrition. What's going on with diet and nutrition? Apparently the food stressors and additives are hurting him. He's lacking minerals. There's herbicides affecting him and then amino acids right here. So copaiba is recommended, patchouli jasmine, and then right here, his hydration. So he drinks alkaline water, but he has not been himself lately, so we don't know what was going on. Um, liver again, all the way over here. And here are his balancers. So again, I would go to the top one, right? See how he does, and then add the second one as needed, okay? This scan's really awesome. Inflammation, same thing here. So you'll see on the left, deep blue roll on. He's obviously in a little pain. He has been running a lot lately, so maybe that was hurting his little joints or something. We'll find out soon enough. Immune, so mental and emotional stressors. This is an awesome category because it shows that the immune system is actually causing for the mental and emotional stressors. <laughs> it's actually causing stress. So we gotta figure out how we gotta get this immune system under control so it's not causing him any stress. There's an emotional stressors component right here. And we could take a look at these emotions and find out what's going on. If you could talk to me, that would be lovely. In the meantime, I have to just love on him more, right? Hate and tense. They're not marking, so these are a little concerning. All right, here we go. This is how we're going to balance him. So we added these oils to sleep. Liver is causing issues with his sleep. Now, it's strange that liver popped up everywhere. It's not always the case for everybody, but that's kind of what, it ha what happened with him at this particular time. Melissa? has done wonders for him. Toxic stress, we gotta get the parasite cleanse in him because obviously his tummy is not very happy. And the tri-es were amazing. He was itching a lot as well. I forgot to mention that. So this, the tri-es, and I also made a spray bottle with a couple of the oils. I put Melaleuca in there. I put Serenity. I added some, uh, la not lavender, I already had lavender on there. Um, Serenity, I put Serenity Melissa uh, and Melaleuca in there. And added a couple of drops and balance as well. So here's the wellness report. On the bottom, you'll see here, I didn't click it for him, it shows services. So right here, what it'll do is it'll come up with the top services your body's asking for. So if you need chiropractic, if you need oxygen therapy, if you need acupuncture therapy, whatever the service is that your body's asking for that we have in the system, it'll come back and tell you what your body needs. So you don't have to keep guessing, it'll actually tell you exactly what it wants. Here's an advanced report, and that one looks very similar to the first one. It'll show all this. Once all this is shown, at the bottom, you'll see that it marks your organs and your glands, and it's pretty exciting. Again, the goal is to have everything to the left of this line right here. So his adrenal glands are pretty much shot. <laughs> so we are working on making sure that we get all the gunk off of them so they can perform better. Right here, it shows your gallbladder. It shows the heart hypothalamus gland, the kidneys are not happy, large intestine, uh, the liver again you see here, lungs look pretty good, pancreas a little irritated, parathyroid, pineal gland, hormones related here, prostate, small intestine looks good, spleen okay, stomach, his testes are looking good, thymus, thyroid, and urinary bladder. And in the scan I'll go over the functions for each organs and why it's important to make sure they're in line. It's tech, it checks your vertebrae, and it tells me which ones are being irritated or need some alignment. Now everything, every spine, every vertebrae is connected to an organ. So if that vertebrae is not uh, well, whether it's crushed, it's uh, sometimes even going over a bump, it can cause misalignment here. So we gotta make sure that your back is always taken care of because it does affect your organ and your actual um, performance. Here's your teeth biomarkers. Awesome, right? It even shows your teeth. Teeth are also connected to organs. And on the bottom of this report is basically if you were to go see an acupuncturist, this is what they would do where they would poke you <laughs> with those little needles to allow the energy to flow. So the, the deal is here, we're created of energy. So energy flows this way, up and down, up and down. And it also vibrates. So you see here on the bottom where it says a sleep meridian or the spleen meridian. So what happens if something's pinched there, say for example, there's a blockage right here, okay? So all of a sudden, all the energy goes like this, right? And it gets stuck right here. There's no more flow all the way up and down. So we have to make sure that we can go ahead and open up the area so the energy flows. 
So we are so blessed that we don't have to go to see uh, acupuncturists. The oils actually balance out as well. So you can use your oils because they do have frequencies, energies to open up the area to help energy flow a little bit nicer. So this is awesome because it gives us a nice little cheat sheet. Okay, the last one I'm going to show you is called the Emotions Vector Report. And this is very interesting because, yeah, I'm feeling a certain way. That's life. Um, I can't help it. That's what we get from a lot of people. But I want to show you something interesting here. So it goes in order of what you're feeling most of, whether it's a positive or negative emotion that comes up. And it shows you what you're feeling, right? And you said nothing to me. All you did was put a hand on a cradle. And that was it. On the bottom, it shows the top emotions that were out of range. And right here, we're talking about guilty, grief, anger, exhausted, and sad. And you'll notice on the left that when you're feeling this particular emotion, it's affecting these things right here. So I'm angry. Okay, well, you could be angry. What are we going to do to make sure that if you're angry with somebody, angry at a situation, angry with yourself? Because this doesn't mean you're just angry at someone. It could be angry at a situation. You're angry about um, something you did, something somebody else did. We have to figure out where that anger is coming from. So I walk you through and say, okay, let's talk about this if you're willing to. Because we got to get your liver going. He's probably angry that I'm scanning him <laughs> or whatever he's feeling at that time. It goes about two weeks back as well. And every emotion that we're feeling is causing some type of interaction with our physical body. This one here is the back, the vertebrae. The exhaustion is causing his adrenal glands and kidneys to not be happy. Grief has a lot to do with all of this. Guilt the kidneys and the adrenal glands you have greed and hate which we're not marking not a happy dog when he was being scanned <laughs> he has he hadn't been feeling well either so a lot was going on with him um a lot was going us on with us so you know dogs take on everything that we're doing so there was a lot of chaos running around traveling doing a bunch of stuff and you know he probably felt all that too i don't know i just don't know i just know what his report says and what his body's telling me that it wants to balance out so we've done just that he's done a lot better i want you guys uh to pay attention to here like there's hate hate is affecting all these things okay now i know we can't just snap our fingers and expect things to go away but we can do what we can so we're taking supplements we're trying to eat better we're trying to um make better choices and that's all fine and dandy but we always have to get the emotions intact as well so that was kind of a detailed <laughs> um, review of what the balance zyto scan does and i would love 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 for you to get scanned so we can figure out what it is that your body's asking for sometimes we go through these regimens of like taking our vitamins doing this doing that and we kind of feel a little mm, something's missing i need something um, I like to do the cleanse and restore kit. Well, I, I'd like to do it. I'd like to do it more often than I do, but I'm going to get on a regimen where I'm detoxing at least once a month because of all the environmental factors that are going on. And I know that a lot of that have uh, also plays in our emotional state. So now that I know a little more about the interaction between the two or the way they both, um, need help. I'm going to be a little more diligent in making sure I'm not only watching my physical, but also the emotional state and how they, how they, how they work together, because that's very, very important. So if you guys are interested in getting a scan, um, please reach out, let me know, and we can get one for you. Okay. If you have any questions, if you saw something on the video, you'd like to get a little more info on, please reach out and I will be here to service you and any needs that you may have. Thanks again for watching, guys. Look forward to reading your comments, and we will talk to you guys soon. Bye.